G'day guys, this is Ruben from Barrett's Music here today. Today I'm speaking with Bob McMillan from Tasmanian Salvage Resurrection Timbers. He's a local Tasmanian timber merchant um, and he deals with a lot of Tasmanian tonewoods um, for the use in guitars. Uh, so starting off, Bob, how are you going? I'm going really well, thank you. That's good. So let's begin with, what, what companies do you supply timber with? Um, a lot of companies I supply, uh, one I'll name is Warwick in Germany for their bass guitars, their, their custom builds, you know, you'll see the custom builds from Tasmanian Blackwood, that's yeah. what I supply. Um, there's a company in Scotland, which is great because I was originally yeah. born in Scotland, and that's a company called AC Custom Guitars and Basses, and uh, his, his name is um, Alan Kringham and he builds these special custom builds from my instruments. Um, I've got a lot of small time luthiers around the world yeah. that I deal with, you know, for their high-end, you know, yeah. custom builds. I'm um, about to do an order at the moment for Fender in the United States. They're coming over to see me shortly. Yeah. Uh, I've been talking with Martin Katars in the United States for their acoustic instruments. There is another big company in the United States that I supply, but at the moment it's a sort of a secret. Yeah. Reason being, they want to get established with me before they start promoting it. Yeah. But uh, if you look at a lot of the um, instruments around the world, the big makers around the world, if, if you see Tasmanian Blackwood, yeah. um, you can guarantee it's come from me somewhere along the line. Yeah, well, awesome. Well, speaking of that, speaking of Tassie Blackwood, uh, and other Tassie timbers, what do you look for when you're sourcing a piece of timber? What's, um, and what timbers do you specialise in? I mainly go after old trees, old dead trees, the closer they are. It's like human beings, we have a use by, you know, use by day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day we die. So I try and find really old trees that are close to dying and I look for a certain diameter because you've got to have a you got to have a tree close to a metre in diameter to get the backs for acoustic guitars. Because all musical instruments, especially acoustic instruments, they have to have what you call quarter sawn timber. And to get that, you've got to have straight lines, you've got to have nice clean wood, no knots, no imperfections. So you look for a nice clean tree and you only need the bottom, you only need a couple of metres at the bottom of the tree. So I, I go on to private land mostly because I don't believe in clear falling of old growth forests. So I like to look for old dead trees. Other timbers as well as Tasmanian blackwood, you've got myrtle, Tasmanian myrtle. Um, eucalypts are very good for musical instruments, but you've got a, a specific tree you go after. There's maybe well over a hundred eucalypts, but you go, the one I go for is the brown top stringy bark. That's the common name. It's a very stable timber and makes a beautiful sounding instrument. And then you've got King Billy and Yawn Pine, which are suitable for soundboards for guitars. Even Tasmanian Celery Top is good for musical instruments. But you've got to find the right tree and it's got to be, it's got to be sustainable. You've got to select old trees that are dying. You don't cut down trees unnecessarily. So basically that's what I do. I go all over the state, different areas. Yesterday I went over to the East Coast, had a look at a farmer's property, found maybe 15 trees on his property. And after I leave here, I'm going up the West Coast. Yeah. So I'm continually traveling yeah, around certainly. the state. Yeah. I'm not in my business to make money. I'm in my business to educate that we can value at our timbers yeah. for the future generations. Yeah, it was great. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Bob. That's all right. It's, it's been pleasure. great speaking with you. It's a pleasure. Uh, this has been Reuben and Bob McMillan. Uh, check out his website, TasmanianTonewoods.com. Uh, and thanks for watching. Now, after speaking with Bob about Tasmanian Tonewoods, let's have a listen to the Taylor 414CE FLTD. This is a guitar with a solid cedar top, uh, and the back and sides are solid Tasmanian blackwood. So this is what we are, can expect to hear from a solid Tasmanian timber.